Alrighty folks, want to welcome you back to another video. Um, this one was a follow-up to the San Diego. On the way back from San Diego, we've been trying to stop at Campo for a while to do the train. It's also another kind of a follow-up to the Flagstaff. Or not Flagstaff, to the Grand Canyon trip. When I took the train, and took the train up. So... These are kind of cross-connected. Decided it's hard to make it to Campo because I don't have weekends off. Normally it's only open uh, Saturdays and Sundays. Since we were there on a weekend and we did the boat and all of that type of stuff because we're usually not down there on a Friday night, Saturday, or Sunday night. And it makes it a little hard to do those kind of adventures. But with this adventure... We were down there for the weekend in San Diego, did a short little video, got some clips, some little video on there that's going to be on the end. Going to do the same to this one. It has a nice little museum style thing. It has a little train station when you get there. It's pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. I When we left, we could see some houses off on the other end that might be the actual town. We didn't go through that part. We kind of went around on the road when we left. There isn't a whole lot there. There's a little museum. I think I'll have a few photos of that on here. Over on the other side of the street. That is, it was like an old trading post. And then it has an upper floor that has the Buffalo Soldiers type of a museum artifacts up there. Across the street. Is the train station the train heads out it's about a 45 minute ride it goes one way and then comes back on the same way so it doesn't go around to different environment you go to one side you go backwards and then you go forward back to the train station area when you get the train station area it takes you down to the museum part the museum part had a lot of interesting stuff in it it had model train where you can make them run. It actually had full-size train cars. It had some really old, old train cars in there. I might have a few pictures, but probably not. But they were very nice. You can walk through. You could see it. They were kind of... The one was nicely maintained. The other one was so old... I don't know if that was the original condition or there was just some pieces missing that they could never find. But it looked like they tried to keep it original. I'm kind of a large guy. The second train part where you walked through was pretty tight fitting. It was pretty small hallways, pretty small doorways. So I wanted to, if you're really kind of a claustrophobic person, you can't really get into too tight of spaces that might not be the proper place for you but it was really interesting there was videos um, about the museum about the train line how you know why it's there what it was there for what it was used for they tell you some of that on the train too they have speakers in there that will talk about the train and the line and what's around and you know the buildings by it and that type of stuff so it was kind of interesting it was kind of a nice experience I know they have certain things down there for Christmas and other type of stuff but I haven't been to any of that I've talked about going there I think we've actually driven by it once and didn't quite realize that's where it was or we drove by and it was closed on one of those days when we were by but it's it's by the Golden Acorn Casino out in that range, you can go out. We came back through San Diego through a nice, pretty windy road. I know we passed another casino. I don't remember the name, but I've been there before. So that's what leads me to believe that we've driven by it. And it looked familiar, the museum building across the street. So I'm pretty sure I've driven down that road. I just didn't quite realize or it wasn't open when we went by so it is kind of out of the way but it is kind of a nice little place to go visit if you're interested in trains and you want to see some old-fashioned 
train cards and you want to go see a lot of things it talks about train gates and all of those other things plus since I did this one and I was thinking I never did a review on the last museum I went to when I was in California so I'll probably do that because I'll have three about trains that was a very nice place too so stick around keep an eye out for that one because I'll be doing that one I gotta go get some photos and other things and make a collection of video to put at the end of that one too so I have to recover those but this is not a big big place it is not really handicap accessible they have a ramp that will help you to load into the train if you need to but between the train station and where the museum is there's quite a long walk maybe a quarter mile or maybe more it's not paved it's gravel or dirt so I want people to be aware of that is it worth going to see I would say yes um, kind of like a lot of the exhibits in San Diego you have a lot of things out there you know the aircraft carry the old ships and all the other historical things this I would consider a C you would want to go see too now it might not be something you want to go see over and over and over again but it's I think worth something to go see the same as things in San Diego so this is why I wanted to press that because where this is at is out in Campo Campo's out in the middle of nowhere a lot of people might not really realize this is there I've known about it for quite a few years and it's taken me a little bit of effort to try to figure out how to get there on the weekend if you're a person that has weekends off then you have no problem I don't have weekends off so it's really worth it I thought it was really really worth it plus we went on Super Bowl Sunday so there wasn't too big of a crowd I wasn't expecting too big of a crowd because I assumed a lot of people down in that area were more interested in the game. So that worked out good to our advantage that day. But like I said, there's a museum, there's a train station, there's restrooms, there's a lot of things there. There's not, they had pre-made sandwiches kind of like at a gas station if you needed to eat. They didn't have a restaurant, they didn't have anything else there. So I wanted to specify that. I'm sure there's some little places. I know when we headed out, there's a little place out there that may serve food, may not. So I would plan for that. It's not a full service, everything you're going to need out there. So that was one of the things I wanted to mention. But as for would I go back, probably. I liked it. There was a lot of things to see. It looked nice. The people were nice at work there and it was worth going but I would have to coordinate time off and be in that area to go there because it is a two plus hour drive from where I live so that's just something I wanted to state I wanted to get out there because I want to do some videos on my personal side too but again some of this is based on your technology too railroad gates all these other things they talk about the sensors and all these other little things how these things work so I thought that was interesting again goes back to one little spark of an interest can lead to a lot of things and you know there is technology new trains have a lot of technology in it this train is a really old train car that we were in it looks like they're trying to refurbish it and repair it but you know there's some little things the window handles and stuff you know are missing you can see that so you can see the true age of the train plus there's a lot of features in this train car that they didn't really go through that I really thought they should explain a little bit more like the seats and all of these other things that the other museum we went to explained a lot of these things so I knew what it was so that's what drew me back into making another video coming up 
about the other train area that I went to go see. But this is really worth going to see to ride in an old fashioned train. This is really an old train. This is not the new moderns. This is not a, how would I, a middle class modern old train, any of that type of styles. This was an old style train. The old had a box car on the front in between the engine and the train car is all it had. It had the three components, the engine, a box car, and the passenger car. Maybe on bigger weeks they might add more. I'm not too sure, but that's what they had. It was not a bad price. I believe it was like 15 bucks a person, 12 bucks a person, whatever it was, for the whole experience. And that was not a bad deal. So I wanted to press that because I liked the experience. It was something different. If you're looking for something different and you're near the Campo area, that might be something to consider. Kids and other things like that that might be interested in trains, even adults. This is something that you can go out and do that's good for the family. Something that is educational. Something that has some tech. Something that is just a good quality entertainment. So I think I'll wrap this video up. It's a short little video. And I'll put some photos and some other things on the end. So you can see the environment and see what's there. Alrighty, I want to thank you for watching.